What's up YouTube? Groover here and today we are going to be taking a look at this, the Nerf Rival Saturn. Now the Saturn is the third in the Nerf Rival Edge series and as far as I know the Edge series is an exclusive to Walmart because that's the only place I've ever seen it. If I'm wrong please let me know in the comments down below. But the Rival Edge series, the other two blasters in it are the Mercury which is a five shot bolt action pistol and the Jupiter, which is, I want to say, I believe, a 10-round uh, bolt-action rifle. Uh, all of them, including this, do utilize the Kronos uh, takedown internal magazines. The fun thing with this, though, is because it's pump-action and all, it's basically a giant takedown. And I'm okay with that. And let's get into the aesthetics first before we go in, before I kind of go a little off the rails. Uh... You will note that this is not red, blue, or white, but highlighter yellow. So, I, it's what the Edge series is, fine, whatever. It's going to be getting a paint job because I don't want to have to be reminded of school or homework, homework or work work. You know, having to look at something that is constantly highlighter yellow. So that's getting fixed, definitely, for sure, when we mod this. This has a integrated handle and stock, which is a short stock. Just kind of touching on this for a minute though. Any person who's followed my channel for a while knows I do not like short stocks. And I'm not a fan of them. However, this stock surprisingly works okay. And I like it because if I'm shouldering this, it actually works very nicely. It's not as big as I would have liked it, but for what it is and the length of this blaster, it actually does work nicely, which is weird. But anyway, you have a sling point here in the stock itself. Going forward, you have a sling mount up here at the tip. There's actually a third sling mount as far as I, as far as I think. Um, right here in the handle itself because while you do see there are cutouts all over the body of the blaster there would be really there's really no aesthetic reason for this cutout other than just an aesthetic reason duh or that it would be a sling mount which actually works out very nicely because and i'm sure this piece is not going to be to everyone's care or desire but the i'm sure somebody's going to wind up 3 3d printing a handle without the stock so if that does ever happen you're going to need a replacement sling mount for there so there it actually works out good so it could be as much as hasbro hates us foresaw the need for an additional sling mount so i guess kudos i don't know anyway uh, the pump grip on this is actually very comfortable and they've definitely learned from the takedown where the takedown was just one smooth piece of plastic with a small ridge at the back and up front to get your hand on. This is a proper, I, I want to say it's a proper shotgun grip because it's also very reminiscent to the one that France Foamworks designed, which I like a whole lot. Um, you have two rails on top here separated by the loading spot you have built-in sights very the built-in backside is actually almost almost a one-to-one -one for the uh the takedown except that it does have the groove in it unlike the takedown which i thought it did hmm. um you'll be able to attach the nerf re the nerf rival uh glow sight to this thing pinpoint sight to this I have a glow sight from Containment Crew that I'll probably wind up trying on here to see if it works or not. Uh, that will be done off camera because that will take like five seconds and I'm not removing it from the Dart Zone Pro right now. And I'll just let you know if it works or not. If it does, awesome. If not, no big deal. The other thing going back into the body is all of these panels look like they are separated. Like this one down here doesn't. This is just going to be one big one, but I believe this and those and this piece are going to be separate and if it does we'll find out more when we hit on the workbench that's going to make painting this thing so much easier and so much more fun because there's a lot of 
uh, bits and bobs in between by edges and lines and all that stuff that would be a pain to mask off but if I'm able to paint everything separately that's gonna be awesome uh, this does have 10 rounds over the takedown which is 8 so that's also a plus on this blaster however if you're expecting or for those of you curious this is a takedown and it is the Saturn is almost double there we go the Saturn is nearly double the size of a takedown so but we'll get to that in my final thoughts because I think that basically covered all of the aesthetics of this oh real quick before I forget this actually does have a priming indicator unlike the takedown which is actually very helpful but much like the takedown this also has an ambidextrous safety switch so not lefty friendly but then again I don't really use the safety switches on these things anyway so it doesn't matter but that definitely takes care of all the aesthetics on here uh, I did do an FPS test on this to see what this is hitting stock we'll go to that then we'll hit the bench and then give you my final thoughts on this okay so we're gonna do FPS testing with the Saturnus see what we're getting and see how well it shoots so. okay I gotta say that was really good and especially stock not bad also the I should have said this at the beginning but the ammo I'm using is honestly a mix of rival X shot and dart zone stuff so hey it shows that it can use whatever so let's go to the bench and let's take a look at the inside of this thing okay so as always I have removed all the screws already which you can see in this giant pile here um, not to worry about anything they're all the same size so you should have no problem just taking them out and putting them to the side this is the stock screws I wanted to make sure I kept those separate because I didn't want to get those confused um, so yeah all the screws should be out of this so let's open this up and see what we got Oh, that's not gonna, is it? I think. Oh. Oh. Ah. And as always, I missed one. So. Should be the only one I missed. Nope. Missed two. No, is that everything? Yes, that is everything now. Alright, so, and here we go. So, all right, so here we have the explosion that is about to happen because takedown. Um, so going over it, we have our trigger, which is very big. Um, the catch, at least what it looks like, a uh, priming indicator your tube and basically every okay basically from here forward it's a takedown there's no question about it it's a takedown it will be able to get modded so that is not a problem whatsoever um this is i believe some kind of a lock for the uh for the for i guess you can it's not a dart indicator but a round indicator uh, or the priming indicator I have heard some people say that taking certain locks out actually does cause this thing not to work properly so I'm actually not going to surprisingly for once remove anything from here um, I am going to just put it back as is uh, hopefully without it completely in 100% exploding uh, but I did want to take a look at this side and I was right and all of the highlighter plastic is just um, attached with tabs so yeah uh, tabs and some and some holes or rod uh, screw ports so yeah 
this thing can be completely separated. Ow. Sorry, my hand is still actually healing, so I don't have the full Sorry, I don't have the full strength and dexterity in my hand as I normally would. So, okay, well, I can't get this separated at the moment, but I am actually going to be doing a standalone mod guide video for this thing. So, I'm going to be doing... I'll, I'm going to completely and totally strip that down when I'm doing that because... This shiny plastic is definitely not going to take paints well, so I definitely want to get that sanded if I'm going to put uh, any kind of paint on it whatsoever. But I'm going to button this thing back up and, again, hopefully not have this explode on me, but I'm going to put this all together. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on what I Okay, so my final thoughts on the Saturn. Um, it's a mixed bag, honestly, because there's a lot about this that I do really like but there's enough preventing me from wanting to buy a second. Going over what I did like about this thing and surprising, what surprised me honestly the most was the stock. Cause this stock is not one that I would normally be like, oh, that looks good. No, this is, I look at it and go, oh my God, that's why is it so small? It's gonna suck. But it shoulders nicely and I, it's still an extremely very movable blaster. So and makes it very movable which again normally something this size i would not like but it worked um the stock pump grip is very very well designed and much better than the takedown because this is my stock or my pump grip from france foamworks which is kind of you can see where it goes on it the only difference is it has the the hand block right there but it's really nice. Also, I did check my glow side does not work on this. Even fully tightened, it is way too loose. So it's faux, It's still faux Picatinny, which sucks. Meh. But it's a shotgun. You're not going to glow side shotgun anyway. The thing that I don't like about this is because the Edge series is supposed to come with targets, which are supposed to be really cool. Like the Mercury target is really neat. The Jupiter target is really neat. This thing comes with this piece of crap and it's supposed to be the nerf reactive target which you shoot it and it flips around like an idiot and stands back up again and then you shoot it and it flips around again like an idiot the other targets are stationary you shoot this a couple times you got to go running you got to go running after it and it's no i mean the design of the target itself is cool but it's no no bad you stay there. That's where you live now. But because of that, and also because this is double the size of a takedown, you're paying double the price of a takedown, which really sucks, in my opinion. This thing retails at Walmart for 40 bucks. This retails just about everywhere for 20 Hell, on Amazon, this retails at 16 so if you're looking at it from not even a modding perspective because obviously we're going to work i'm going to work on this one but if you have no qualms about modding these things or whatever and you're just buying them because you like them or whatever you have to take into consideration this this is a large takedown that holds 10 rounds This takedown holds eight rounds and is $20. This is 40. You're paying 40, you're paying an extra, you're doubling the price for two shots and a shitty target. To me, that is definitely not worth the money. And yes, I know I just released the video where I bought a Dart Zone Pro. <laughs> You serious? That was definitely worth the money. This is questionable. I like this thing, so I mean, I'm going to get use out of this. But given the choice of do I want to get another takedown or do I want to get another Saturn? 
unless this thing is on sale, I'm getting another takedown. Because, no, double the price for two shots is not worth it. But that's my opinion. I still like this thing. I just don't like how it's being marketed. If it was 30 bucks just for the blaster, I would be totally fine with it. At that point, then yes, this would get a seal of approval. But 40 bucks for a, a takedown with two extra shots and a bad target, no, that's not, to me, that's not worth it, no. But that's going to do it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Saturn. And would you get a Saturn over a takedown or vice versa? Let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, and don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. Again, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later.